the bases are loaded. It's the bottom of the third period, and you're down by seven wickets. You've had two gomjongs, and you're trying to figure out how do we get this field goal? Well, you know what? Maybe this is the wine for you. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing the 2019 Slam Dunk California Red Wine. It's 14.8% alcohol by volume, and it has a nice, lovely orange label. That's my way of deflecting from the fact that I bought it without looking at the price. However, it is under $15. Uh, on that note, let's go ahead and get to the color. There is no screw top. Not all wines have to have screw tops. They should. Not all wines have to, though. I'm just, just saying that they really should. Let's take a look at the color. From a color standpoint, you are, you are, you are purple. You are medium purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose, oh man, you, you've got, you, if you don't have a Zinfandel in you, I'd be surprised. As a matter of fact, let me take a look. 55% Petite Syrah, 45% Zinfandel. Booyah. Yeah, there's this nice kind of blend between this slightly bright note, like a tart raspberry. There's a little bit of black cherry, a little bit of blackberry, but there's also some like black plum and this really deep, like there's like a kind of deep, deep purple grape, not raisin but it's just really deep in the flavor. A little bit of like a coconut, as well as, uh, let's keep you moving. And, and on that note, like the raspberry is almost like a, like a raspberry jam. It smells sweet. High tannins, full body, medium alcohol, medium plus intensity. Ooh, the tannins are kind of abrasive. There's also this note of blueberry. I'm getting that on the palate. I wasn't getting it on the nose. As I'm tasting it, the blueberry is pretty prominent and it's actually starting to creep into the palate because of the retro nasal. I like it. I really, I, one of my favorite fruits is blueberry. If not actually my favorite fruit being blueberry. Well, no, I really like pineapple too. I know they're totally opposite ends of the spectrum, but eh, what can I say? I'm fickle. Um, let's go ahead and get to the blick. In terms of balance, I, I think you're balanced. I, th I think the body's there. You're off dry. Um, you have the right type of alcohol. You have the right type of acidity. Yeah, I, th I think everything works. In terms of length, you're medium plus. Uh, so I'm gonna give you half a point because you're not prolonged, so I can't give you a full point. Uh, intensity, medium. Plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, so half a point. And in terms of complexity, I'm getting primary. I am getting some secondary. I'm not getting no tertiary whatsoever. So I'm only going to give you half a point. In the end, that's two and a half points. I'm gonna lean towards very good. So I bought this wine on a gimmick because I looked at the label and I was like, ooh, I could make an intro that would probably trigger a whole bunch of people um, because uh, the only sports I really follow are like MMA and Olympic archery, and I know that's weird, but whatever. Um, on the flip side, this this one is actually enjoyable, and it pisses me off that I just kind of memed myself into a good review, and I, and I'm I'm a little bit upset about that. However, I can't knock the wine. Um, any complaints, just follow them too. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2019 Slam Dunk? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, uh, I mean, the field goals are pending, and I'm pretty sure that there's a scrum in which I can get, so I, I'm out of sports metaphors. I have nothing. I'll see you later.